Welcome back everyone. Uh, today we have a, an exciting video. We're going to do a little introduction to Rainer AI again, but this time they've revamped the entire website. So I'll give you a walkthrough of that, some new features as well, and let's get started. So main website the same, except when you are logged in, you do get this little dashboard button, which we'll click now. Make an account is easy, super duper straightforward. And this is the new dashboard. It's beautiful. It looks so well organized and you have all your bits and pieces brought together into one cute little space. Um, you even have like a little let it leveling up system here with little challenges that you can get uh, every week and have a little countdown timer there and we'll run through all that later. Anyway, so on the left side here, you'll see all your available features, including flashcards, which is our newest one there. Uh, we'll get started with this one and I'll show you how to do it. So we'll create a new flashcard uh, for the sake of this, I have a file already set to go. I just drag and drop that one into there. It'll give you all the pages on the PDF that you can choose. I'll save that selection. And then for context, you can do text, image, link, and YouTube as well. They're all very self-explanatory. Uh, if you have any issues, just leave a comment and I'll get to you as best as I can. You can detect the language that you want. And there are actually quite a few options here. Um, I'm just going to go English and we'll create the flashcards so yeah super duper helpful feature um i am just going to go off screen and do this all right cool so with the flashcards we can be given a question and then we get the answer to what it is that's how flashcards work the and go through that then we can get it to explain which is an ai generated explanation and i'll give you a little more context there also go example Gives you an example. Memo. There you go. And visualize. So these are all very important tools and building knowledge of whatever your source of learning is and essentially just making it more well known within your brain and yeah, great tool. I know a lot of other sources and websites and stuff offer it, but not to this degree. So it's a great advantage to having this. And plus you get a little, uh, little diagram there when you go visualize. Another thing you can do is, um, if you know whatever the content of this specific flashcard is, you can hide it for a certain amount of days. Uh, for example, if you find it really easy, you won't see it again. It's more focusing on the other things that you need to learn more like uh, harder and show it again like soon time uh, just just so you can build a better rapport of your memory uh, so if you don't want to see it again just go easy and then it'll hide it and if you really don't know how to answer a question um, that's when you go here and you just press uh, show again soon just to help build that reinforcement of your brain to the concept all right so that is flashcards Next, we'll go to podcasts. Same principle. You just drop a file or put some text in. Choose your language. With podcasts, you can either go basic mode or premium mode. Just means the different modal of podcast generation makes it sound a little more advanced. Uh, and that is differentiated by plans as well. Don't forget, you can also opt in to hide your selected material. So if you don't want to share it with anyone else, you can choose to make it private so no one can find it by the link that it uh, generates. We'll just go to one that I generated already. Welcome back to another episode of Brain Banter, where we dive deep into the mysteries of the human brain. I'm David, and with me, as always, is the brilliant Emily. Hey, everyone. I'm so excited to be here, as always. So, yeah, as you can hear from that brief little example, it's uh, generated quite a realistic sounding podcast with a transcript that you can go through. You can even download them as well if you want. Um, but that's pretty much it. You just drop in your material. It's very straightforward. Uh, quizzes. They're a little more nuanced, so... We drop in the PDF, 
choose the pages that we want, auto text language. Um, then you can choose the type of questions. So you can either go a mix of all of these, or you can choose to opt in like multiple choice, true or false, uh, fill in the blank, free response. I'm going to leave out free response because I actually don't know the answers to these things. Um, choose the number of questions. We'll go one to 10. And then quiz mode, it's explained here. You can either have the feedback of whether you got it right or wrong immediately, or you can leave it to the end. So you have to kind of work a little more towards figuring out if what your answer is uh, exam conditions. And then you can choose the privacy. Uh, and then you go create the quiz. I have already generated this, so I'm just gonna go through and answer these. I have no idea what the answer is. Oh, look, cool. Uh, Cause I, I did it before. Um, it'll save your progress. So if you wanna start again, you can either go try again or you can press restart down here. And then you can go true or false. That's true. Uh, that one is that one. But yeah, you just go through and you answer all the questions and build that memory within yourself. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much that one. You can make it as long, as short, or as complicated as you want. Uh, choose different languages if you're not basic English. And then, yeah, you can go to summaries. So the next feature, same principle here. You just, uh, you don't even have to drag and drop. You can just select it and bring up the file explorer. You can go text, image, take a photo and upload it here. Choose a link from a specific page, either like a Wikipedia page or an encyclopedia page, anything that has open um, open access and not locked behind a barrier of an account or something. And then you can go to YouTube, which is, just reads off the, the text from YouTube, from the automatic generated captions and such, or however it works. It's very interesting. Um, take, take an example, same principle, choose language, and then you have these different formats. So you can either do bullet points, and you can choose the complexity of the summary itself. Uh, brief ones will generate faster and then deep dives, which is a premium feature, will take longer, but it'll give you like some really good resources to read from without having to go through the entire text. Um, for the sake of example, I've already generated, I think this was a brief or a detailed one. And then you can share it there, you can print it out. Um, this one was generated from a YouTube video. So it actually gives you uh, timestamps from the video itself without showing ads. But um, yeah, this, this is the video here. Sell by. And then has the timestamp, so hopefully it doesn't show an ad. Oh yeah, straight to it, quite nice. So if you need to watch a lecture that's really long and you don't have the time, make it a summary, read the general points, choose the timestamps that you need if you want more clarification. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna skip over brain rot for the time being, go straight to the tutor which is really cool. I don't know what I was saying here before, but, um, oh yeah, so it's already had this loaded in. So if you want to, for example, ask it a question, uh, what, I'm just going to see if this is a, a good example to learn. Here we go. So it's taken the information from the PDF that I've already uploaded. Um, and in the context, it is explaining one of the topics that I've read about here. You can have a discussion with the bot based on what you do or do not completely understand. It's just a basic form of tutoring uh, without actually having a, a tutor, which is cool. It helps a lot of people. And then finally, just to wrap off this super long video, I know I'm taking too long. We have a very interesting feature, the brain rot feature. So for example, we have this PDF, which I will bring up here about the human skeleton. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna take that information and condense it into a TikTok style brain rot video with a couple of different options uh, able to go through here. You can do Minecraft, and this is the parkour video for the example. Uh, you can also do Subway Surfers, Old School Vines, and Cluster Truck, which is a really cool game. Um, so yeah, it does take about roughly 30 seconds to load up. And then once it's done, you'll have your options here. We'll just go Minecraft Parkour. And you can even choose to download the video for later if you want to keep it on your camera roll and go through. Or you can make another one. But I'll show you a brief little example here. All right, bam. Let's talk human skeletons, the AUG framework of your body. So, you start with 270 bones when you're born, but that drops to about 206 as you grow up. 
Cause some bones totally vibe together. Your bones make up around 14% of your body weight that's like 10 to 11 kilogram for the average peep, which is kinda wild. There are two main squads. So yeah, uh, it goes through the, the contents of that, um, of that text that I've given it and has converted it into a brainwatch style video, which is really engaging for a lot of people, especially those who suffer from like ADHD and can't focus on these sort of things. Uh, but that is built into Rainer Ele as well. So yeah, that is an overview of the features of Rainer AI. You can even explore other things that people have uploaded that have left it on um, public. So if, I don't know, maybe if you have some things here that you have shared interest in academically, you can go through and see what people have made. Um, if you don't want your things to end up here, you can just select it to be private. Uh, and there, it looks like they're working on some other features like uh, featured public ones and then popular ones, which is cool as well. And then if you want to change your billing or if you want to subscribe to a different plan, uh, that's just in the billing file there. Settings here, contact us, feedback portal, and this uh, affiliate program, all pretty self-explanatory. Don't really need to go through that. Change the language of the actual site here. I'm just going to keep it English, night mode, day mode, notifications for new updates. You can even ask your tutor straight from this file. So that thing we brought up here with the tutor is always accessible. And then you can just ask a question straight off the bat um, and you can choose whatever. Oh, choose him. Oh, you can make um, your, your tutor have a little custom image. That's actually quite funny. Um, and then, yeah, easy access for all your pre-made stuff, uh, make more study groups. But yeah, look, I'm pretty much rambling on this point, but if you just wanted to have a little walkthrough as to what the site offers, that's pretty much it here. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or if you enjoyed my yapping, let me know and I'll, uh, See you in the next one. Cheers.